On this episode of Our American Republic, we are going to talk about Adam Smith and his contributions to our free market economic system, protected by the amended Constitution. Smith's work influenced planning and design of national economies around the world. His work built upon John Locke's theories on liberty and was implicitly promoted by the founders in the design of the U.S. Constitution. So, who was Adam Smith, and how did he tie liberty to the notion of a free market economy? Born in Scotland in 1723, Adam Smith's formal education at the University of Glasgow ultimately led him to teaching moral philosophy. In 1776, after moving on to teach economics, he published his primary work on economic theory, entitled An Inquiry into the Nature and Causes of the Wealth of Nations. Within his book, Smith promoted the notion of a free market economy where prices were freely determined by contractual agreements between private producers or merchants and individual consumers. So why were such views so radical for the time period? Smith's theories broke from traditional mercantilist views because Smith saw value in efficient, privatized production processes and value in labor itself. Mercantilists held the belief that only property was valuable and that all wealth was based upon property alone, not the labor or the specialized processes by which services were rendered. Adam Smith challenged mercantilists by building upon John Locke's philosophies of liberty, property rights, and currency by emphasizing specialized production using intellectual property, where private entrepreneurs valued not just the difficulty of the labor, but the efficiencies and outputs of private labor as well. By Smith's reasoning, if an individual could design a process by which he could outproduce the competition, the innovating individual would reap capital gain with personal profit. These increases in production through a specialized division of labor meant that the individual who owned a special process could increase personal capital and profits over and above his competition as a result of increased sales. Smith believed these free market innovations would advance not only productivity, but the standard of living as well. Even though Adam Smith is often attributed as a proponent of laissez-faire economics, this is a misconception. The Library of Economics and Liberty writes, Smith believed that the government should enforce contracts and grant patents and copyrights to encourage inventions and new ideas. In short, Smith believed that government was instituted, in part, to protect individual liberty and property rights, thereby encouraging those who could contribute to the national prosperity. Adam Smith is considered to be one of the fathers of classical liberalism, along with John Locke. His efforts provided us with a framework to operate a free market economy based on our Constitution, which established a sound legal system to provide legal equality to all parties involved. How has Adam Smith's work been used in the modern era? How does the American economic system resemble Smith's free market economy? What changes would be required for our system to conform to Smith's specifications? Music